All right, we got a boatload of conch shells. And I'm gonna show you how to pick one. You wanna look for one? Without a lot of holes in it. And no cracks. So this one's kinda good, but it's got a lot of holes on top. And look at this one. Got like cracking going on here. So you don't want that either. This one has a lot of cracking because it's an older shell. This one looks kind of good. It's got a lot of those cracks in the top. But the hole is smaller. If you get one with a smaller hole, it's easier to patch the hole for making a horn. Like this one has two big holes. But they put the holes in there in order to get the conch out so you can eat it. We're gonna turn, we're gonna try to turn this into a horn, this conch shelf. We got it down in the keys and then we're gonna try it out here. So let's try it. I say cut it about an inch and a half in. So here we go, we're not get this. This saw's taking too long, so I got the grinder out. So now we have this and that. That's kind of cool. Trying to take this piece off here. It broke right off. So there we go. So that's the all right. That's the inside of it. Let's see in there. We'll clean that up a little more with the Dremel. We'll try blowing in it. This notch is they take a hammer and they pop, they pop it out and that lets the suction come out so they can get the conch to make conch fitters out of there. And you want to cover this with your finger or you can epoxy this off, but that's really a waste of time. It's natural. The epoxy looks kind of crappy, but I mean, if you're playing the horn a lot, I guess, why not? But so then you blow it like this. Still got to work on it. I'm working on it. getting the hang of this. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay, and that is how you make a conch horn. Pretty cool, huh? Getting better. <laughs> That's my boy. Yeah.